Yo guys, what is up, CMS Wolf? Before we start off the video, I would like just to take a moment and say... Or shall I show you? We officially hit 60 subscribers. Um, I woke up this morning at around 8.25. And I usually check out my YouTube studio to see if my video launched, which it did. Go check it out. Uh, I lost my camera charger. Stuff to look for that. But, um, yeah. We hit 60 subscribers. I am so, like, happy and blessed that we hit 60 subs. I just want to take this time out of the video and tell you guys thank you so much for letting us hit 60. I want to get to 1K, but I also want to hit 100 first. So... To my 60th subscriber, this is a message to you. Thank you for subscribing. Please tell your friends to subscribe and turn those post notifications on because I am dropping bangers this whole week. Um, June 5th? No. Hold on. I have to still change my calendar. So, June 7th, I am going to upload the rest of my videos of May. And then that's when we'll start thinking of videos for June. So... Thank you guys so freaking much for 60 subscribers. It it feels amazing to hit 60, and I just never thought we hit 60. I thought we'd just stay on, like, 50 or 59 subscribers for, like, a while. But, like, okay, it, it's fine. Like, it's a sub. But when I woke up this morning and saw we hit 60, I was so happy. So, thank you guys so much for 60 sub that. Thank you guys so much for 60 subscribers. That is amazing. I know when I left YouTube to go to Storyfire, I lost half my subs. Now, how did I lose half my subs? Was because I was leaving YouTube to go to Storyfire, and a lot of YouTubers were contacting me and saying, "Don't leave, don't leave. It's gonna be horrible without you." Yada yada yada. When I came back to YouTube, I noticed I only had. 53 subscribers. I was at 58. I lost half of those subs. As soon as I came back, my subs started going up. Thank you guys for that. I am going to try to do YouTube full time because I don't think I'm going to get accepted into Storyfire. But again, I like to just thank you guys so much for 60 subscribers. Kick the intro and let's get started today's video. Today's video is on how to keep yourself motivated during quarantine. Now since this is a sit down video, Hold on. I'm trying to fix this camera. So since this is a sit down video and it's how to keep yourself motivated during quarantine, I'm just going to tell you guys how to keep yourself motivated during quarantine and not go crazy like everybody is because of the cough cough. So here's how to keep yourself motivated during quarantine. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to keep yourself motivated during quarantine is not think of it as a lockdown so to keep yourself motivated is i have this app on my phone and it basically passes the time really quick it's called color therapy on if you have an iphone ipad smartphone any kind of phone it's color therapy let me lower my brightness up a little bit this is color therapy. Basically, you go to color and they give you like a whole bunch of selections on what to color. And basically, this is the one I am doing. I haven't finished it yet, but they gave you a whole bunch of selections on what to color. The ones that are free, you can color. The ones that aren't free, you gotta buy like the membership and stuff. So. You can do color therapy. It helps, like, it passes the time really quickly. So when I'm, let's see, when I'm uploading a video or if I'm trying to think of a video idea, I just go here and I'll think of some ideas in my head while I'm doing it. 
there's also challenges you can do on this app. So if you do like a challenge, it gives you how many days until that challenge ends and it gives you your results. And it shows how many people like it and if you want, you can follow those people too on that app. Next, on how to keep yourself motivated. Another thing to keep yourself motivated during queen quarantine, don't always stay like in the house like go outside in your yard if you have a yard go outside in your yard get some fresh air talk to some neighbors talk to um, family do something like that go visit family if they're like down the street but if they're like in another town don't do it if you're gonna go visit a family member or a friend that's if your state allows you state or country allows you go ahead but wear your mask because a lot of people in my town have been caught without wearing their masks um yeah so if you're gonna go visit someone a neighbor family friend go wear your mask make sure you're wearing like your safety and you're keeping your distance six feet apart or wherever it is in your state I know in my state it's six feet apart so make sure to keep your distance guys so let's go on to the next part all right. Another way you can keep yourself motivated during quarantine is go for a walk. Walk a pet. If you have a pet, walk your dog. Um, if your neighbor has a pet and they can't walk them or if they're at work and you want to walk them for them, ask them if you can walk them. But if you're going to walk them, like wear your mask just in case. Oh, excuse me. Um, let's see. You can also, like, just take a walk in your town, get some fresh air, because you get, being locked inside makes everybody go crazy. Trust me, my friend's been blowing up my phone for a week saying that they're going crazy because we're on quarantine again for the summer. Great. Also, guys, this is a different spot of, I don't know if you guys already have noticed, but I'm filming over here today because when I was filming over there no good lighting at all absolutely horrible lighting so I did it over here and there's gonna be more videos to come so that's what we're doing we're gonna be having more videos to come let's try it over here so I don't know. Let's move on to the final part of how to keep yourself motivated during quarantine. Alright, another way to keep yourself motivated is try working out at home. I know some like gyms and faculty areas are closed that you can't work out at. So try working out at home. If you don't have any weights to lift up, try to lift up something heavier. Um, you always want to keep your body in shape during this quarantine. So, if you want to work out at home, do push-ups, sit-ups, planks, um, anything like that you can do at home. Just find a clean area and a good area to work out at. That way you can always be like, alright, gyms are closed. I'm going to work out at home so I don't spread the virus. Always do that. Here's another couple more tips. Another way to stay motivated during quarantine is set some goals and challenges. If you have, let's see, dishes in the sink and you haven't done them in the past three days, and you said, uh, I'll get to it. No, set that goal. Say, all right, I'm going to get these dishes done. I'm going to get them ready for the next, for tonight. So set some goals and challenges. Challenge yourself to do something that you've never done before during this quarantine. If you haven't done something you never did, push yourself to do it. Because a lot of people are afraid to push themselves to do it. And you shouldn't be afraid to push yourself. So, I think that's all for today's video, guys. Um, I'm going to edit this one up. And I'm going to film some few more on here. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below and like because my comments are turned off for half of these small youtubers because i guess if it's made for kids youtube turns off your video channel thing
your comments. Shoot. So, keep yourself motivated, guys. Don't let the quarantine get to you. Subscribe down below. And I'm out. Peace.